kidney failure. So here's a paper worrying that, well, on one hand, reducing protein might help the kidneys, but on the other hand, it might affect the incidence of sarcopenia. So it's not as simple as just cutting protein. Sarcopenia, does it matter? Well, it certainly does. So sarcopenia is associated with increased uh, falls, functional decline, frailty, and actual mortality. And there's the reference for you there. So, um, grip strength, which is part of muscle bulk, is a long-term predictor of mortality from all causes, cardiovascular and cancer in men. And there's the reference. So I think that sarcopenia in older people, I think in clinical practice, it's a real problem. And so the idea of cutting back on protein uh, makes me anxious, particularly as dietary protein really does help people with, uh, with appetite. So just something now on um, kidney disease itself. So we know that mortality rates for those with nephropathy are very high increasing from 1.4% per year if you uh, have normal albuminuria, so you're not producing protein in the, in the urine, to 4.6 per year for people with proteinuria. And people with renal impairment have um, a mortality rate of 19.2%. So this is all a bit stressy really, isn't it? Because we know that kidneys matter, uh, uh, we're worrying about sarcopenia and protein in the diet. So how do we resolve all these things uh, to the benefit of our patients? Um, so just coming back to the low carb thing, of course, if you are on a low carb diet, as so many hundreds of my patients are, instead of the carbohydrate, you've only got two alternatives. There are only three macronutrients, carbohydrate, protein and fat. So if you're low carb, then uh, one of your options is to increase dietary fats. Trouble with that is it's historically been attributed to worsening lipid profiles and cardiovascular disease. Or you can increase dietary protein. Certainly that helps with satiety and it's a great for weight loss. But if these fears about dietary protein and renal function are correct, are we helping our patients? Well, um, so I began to look out for individual N equals one cases. And here is uh, somebody who had such poor renal function and also terrible diabetic control um, that we couldn't use metformin. So at this point over here on the left, we started insulin for this patient. Um, but then uh, they gained weight and didn't feel that was helpful. So we instituted a low carb approach, cutting back on sugar and starchy carbs. And as you see, in the end, kidney function was normal. And that patient was off insulin, off glitazide, off doxazosin with a normal renal function and 